A lot happened on tonight's episode of WWE Raw, with SummerSlam firmly on the horizon. We got some great matches and segments, including the main event between Sami Zayn and Ilya Drogonov, which Bron Breaker invaded. However, there have been a few issues. Not all of them are in the company's hands, though, as well get to. Regardless, this was a stacked edition of WWE Raw. So, let's get into the biggest positives and negatives from tonight's show. The in-ring confrontation between Damian Priest and Gunther on WWE Raw had a lot of fire. The World Heavyweight Champion has been established as the clear baby face in the feud, albeit through some questionable means. Priest mentioned that he was homeless while speaking about his long journey to get to where he is. Gunther's response was a bit controversial. He said being on the street was a choice before calling the Judgment Day member street trash. This kind of promo usually leads to the babyface winning in the end otherwise it may verge on Triple H vs Booker T territory. However, the ring general seems likely to win the world heavyweight title at SummerSlam, so maybe the promo on WWE Raw was a step too far. That being said, the segment as a whole did well to build to Damian Priest vs Gunther at SummerSlam. L. Campeon also scored a big win over Braun Strowman on WWE Raw so maybe there is a chance he retains his belt. This obviously isn't anybody's fault, but wouldn't it be disappointing if CM Punk wasn't cleared in time for SummerSlam? WWE Raw gave off the feeling that was the case, with Drew McIntyre's actions forcing Adam Pearce to cancel his plans for his match against Punk. The Scottish warrior is still suspended following his meeting with the general manager, as he refused to apologize to the referees he attacked following money in the bank. Seth Rollins then came out to fight McIntyre off, potentially saving Pierce from a claymore kick. This may have been done to ensure the Scottish Warrior has a back, up feud heading into SummerSlam, which is not good news regarding CM Punk's status. Hopefully, he returns to the ring sooner rather than later. This was a big night for the Wyatt Six. First off, the VHS tape segment of Eric Rowan was genuinely moving, given how real the situation is. He lost two brothers in the past few years, Brody Lee and Bray Wyatt. His words were heartbreaking. However, sadness turned to excitement when Rowan and the rest of the Wyatt Six showed up on WWE Raw. They appeared after the Creed brothers joined up with Chad Gable to attack Bo Dallas, who kept on laughing throughout the beatdown. This segment achieved quite a bit, with the Creeds finally aligning with Master Gable. It may have come a bit late, but things are getting interesting. The only concern is whether the trio may end up looking weak during this feud with Uncle Howdy and his crew. Sheamus had a good thing going. After nearly a decade, the Celtic warrior brought back his old theme song, written in my face, on popular demand. Things were going well, but it just couldn't last, could it? WWE Raw tonight saw Sheamus debut a new theme song for no reason whatsoever. This is one of many such changes, with most not ending well for the superstar in question. Fortunately, the Irishman is already a legend. Otherwise, it would have been a bigger issue. Regardless, though, the theme shouldn't have been changed to something completely new. While his music wasn't one, Sheamus had another banger on WWE Raw, defeating Bronson Reed in a hard, hitting match. He was then attacked by his mate, Pete Dunne. The biggest story on WWE Raw was the return of Rhea Ripley. She opened the show in a big way following her appearance at the end of last week's episode. The former women's world champion challenged Liv Morgan to a match at SummerSlam while letting Dominic Mysterio know she wouldn't just take him back. Despite being in the doghouse, Dirty Dom spent the rest of WWE Raw trying to win Mammy over. He got her a black rose, Eddie Guerrero style before challenging Jey Uso to a match after the Yeet Master asked if Ripley was single. Meanwhile, Morgan is still pursuing Dominic, which keeps things even more interesting. Despite his loss to Uso, Rhea Ripley gave Dominic Mysterio the rose and reminded him that she was the dominant one in their relationship. This came out of left field, so expect a twist or two in the coming weeks on WWE Raw. Will Dirty Dom stay loyal to Mammy while Liv Morgan is still out and about? We might find out at SummerSlam.